uh, we uh, have recently upgraded our uh, economic projection uh, for uh, growth for China to 5.2 percent this year. And this is largely premised on the effectiveness of the policy response that we have seen coming from the Chinese authorities. Mm. Uh, for example, on the fiscal policy side, uh, the government recently announced a stimulus package of 1 trillion RMB uh, to support uh, disaster management activities as well as broader development projects. Uh, we know that uh, the local governments uh, uh, were asked to fully utilize their local government bond quotas so as to uh, uh, catalyze spending and, uh, uh, and expenditure at the local government level. On the monetary policy side, uh, you know, we saw that there were cuts in the policy rate, uh, which led to an increase in the aggregate level of social financing available in the economy, which led to greater availability of credit. On the financial policies side, uh, a cut in the mortgage rates in order to support uh, the weaknesses uh, uh, that we saw in, in some of the property sector areas. Uh, and um, uh, also uh, policies such as uh, uh, preferential loan rates for uh, first-time homeowners and also making it easier for households to acquire second homes. I think these are all manifestations of a policy that has been trying to support uh, you know, the property sector, also uh, the government support for debt restructuring as well as enabling uh, 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 property uh, uh, companies uh, to be able to complete their property and housing projects as soon as possible. So I think all in all, <coughs> we saw quite a robust uh, uh, response from the government. Uh, uh, more is needed uh, going, in, going into the future. Mm. Uh, but the strength of the recovery that we saw uh, in 2023 was a result of some of these policies. Right, and I know ADB is working closely with China on sustainable development. What role do you see China playing in the regions, in the Asia-Pacific region, sustainable and inclusive development? You know, China plays a vital role, a pivotal role uh, uh, for the regional as well as the global economic prospects. Uh, China contributes uh, about one third of global growth. Uh, it uh, contributes nearly half of regional uh, growth. Uh, it is uh, one of the largest trading partners uh, uh, for many countries, perhaps over 140 uh, countries. It uh, remains a central part of uh, the global and regional supply chains. Uh, China is also uh, at the forefront of uh, uh, dealing with the global challenge of, of climate change. It is the world's largest renewable energy producer. It is a global manufacturing uh, hub. Uh, as well. And finally, from an Asian Development Bank's perspective, uh, China contributes substantially to the, to the uh, development prospects of other countries. For example, China is an active contributor to our Asian Development Fund, which mm -hmm. is a fund uh, to support uh, low-income, poor, poorer and vulnerable countries. I think uh, there are many ways in which China continues to influence and impact the global and the, and, and the regional economies, and it, and it continues to play a vital role.